Hello everyone. This is Abhishek Bagherwal. Welcome to Salesforce Marketing Cloud series. In this video, I will be talking about Einstein Content Selection in Salesforce Marketing Cloud. So, Einstein Content Selection is an AI-powered tool to provide dynamic and personalized content to your customers based upon the profile preference attributes as well as some business rules. Okay. So to enable Einstein content selection, you need to go to setup in your marketing cloud account and you need to activate it. Once it is activated, you can go to your marketing cloud homepage. Under the Einstein tab, you can go to Einstein content selection. Then the Einstein content selection console will open. Okay. So on Einstein content selection, we have three main tabs. One is performance analytics. Second is asset distribution and third is settings. So let's talk about asset distribution first. So first of all, in Einstein content selection, we can have content as asset. We call them asset. The content is called an asset. It could be your image, it could be your text block or something else. Okay. And also we have asset classes in here. Okay. So asset classes are nothing but uh, asset classes are the groups holding the similar type of assets. Let's say, for example, I have mentioned here, you have three different banner images to use based upon the uh, some personalization attributes of customer. Then you will merge all those assets under an asset class. Okay. And we also have asset attributes. That is uh, the properties of asset we can define as well. So uh, for an example, let's say you have three banner images and one banner image is for, let's say music related, one is for swimming related and one is for, uh, let's say cycling related. Okay. And on profile, we have an attribute called hobby. And let's say if the customer's hobby is music, then the Einstein will select the banner one image to show to that customer. Or if uh, the profile attribute for the customer on hobby is uh, cycling then it will select the banner three image so it works like that okay now uh, let's talk about the performance yeah. analytics tab yeah. where you can see all the uh, performance related to your asset classes uh, it could be like uh, engagement data how many clicks you have got how many opens you have got on your assets so those kind of uh, analysis you can see in your performance analytics tab then let's talk about the settings tab. Under the settings tab, you can see the total number of assets and active assets and expired assets, as well as there are six configurations that you can do in your settings tab. So let's talk about that. First is configure asset classes. So as I talked earlier, asset classes are nothing but the grouping of similar kind of assets. So you can configure those asset classes from here then asset attributes asset attributes are nothing but the properties of asset that you can define from here then next is profile attributes so profile attributes are nothing but the preference attributes of customers that you can take it from here and you can map these attributes with your asset attributes to match the content based upon this criteria matching okay so as i talked earlier with the example of a hobby of the customer and based upon that the banner image it will select okay similarly you can take the attributes from a data extension as well and match them with your asset attributes to provide the dynamic content then another is configure content selection rules so in einstein content selection we have several type of rules uh, those are exclusion rules to exclude your content for a specific uh, uh, criteria or specific customers then you can have fatigue rules so that uh, you can define that if let's say there is one image then uh, you can uh, define that this image should not be visible to the customer for these many days once it is uh, uh, opened or once it is clicked okay then you have variety rules so variety rules you can define based upon some attribute that uh, similar kind of content does not show in the same message again and again based upon that attribute so that you can define in your variety so we will uh, see these uh, in detail in just a few seconds 
so let's talk first about the set fallback assets so uh, there could be possibility when no criteria is matching in that case uh, at least some uh, content subscriber should see so there you can define your fallback asset now let's talk about the content selection rule okay so uh, we can have uh, four types of uh, configuration in content selection rule first is time sensitive content okay you can manage the time sensitive content here by providing start and ending date that means let's say you have 1st of uh, april and 15th of april as the start date and end date of the content that means you can only use that content in your emails for that particular point of time so this helps uh, this uh, this helps for the uh, criteria like uh, when you have a sale going on or there is a time sensitivity to the offers or deals okay or uh, maybe promotions as well so there may you can make use of time sensitive content okay the next is test content performance you can as i have shown earlier that we have the performance analytics tab where we can see the performance of the content so based upon that performance you can uh, you can select the best content for your customers okay then we have uh, third is display fresh content so for that we have fatigue rules and exclusion rules so fatigue rules is to not show the same content once it is selected or clicked for a specific period of time let's say uh, i am a customer and i have seen this banner image uh, today so you can define that for next 3 days if you are sending out any emails or any communication the same image does not show to this customer so that comes under the fatigue rules then we have exclusion rules these are nothing but the straightforward rules to not show some content based on some criteria then we have variety rule so in variety content what we can define is so we can define the content based upon a, an attribute that does not repeatedly show in the same message again and again okay so that was about the content selection rules in einstein content selection now let's see the uh, performance analytics overview so here you can see the total assets and then their average selections their average click to open rate or unique clicks so these kind of metrics you can see under the performance analytics tab so that's that was some overview around einstein content selection feature in salesforce marketing cloud in later video i will be talking about how we can select the content selection block in our email and how we select the asset class to show the content to customer based upon the criteria and uh, business rules okay so that was all about this video if you find this content helpful please like the video and comment on it for more please subscribe my channel as abhishek bagherwal thank you